Hello guys, I'm Brad. This is the video where I talk about the uh, weapon attachments for the futuristic Call of Duty ideas. And I have it set up so they are like, uh, there are sight attachments, there are under barrel attachments, magazine attachments, barrel attachments, stock attachments, and then uh, some miscellaneous stuff. So first off, under sight attachments, I have the illuminated targeting iron sights, which, which is basically the upgraded iron sights from the other games, but uh, where the illuminated iron sights, they glow red when you're aiming at an enemy. And this can counter one of the perks that removes the red crosshair and removes the, the uh, name above your head. Counters that. And that is one attachment point, like I, uh, like I mentioned in a different video. How uh, everyone starts with two attachment points for their primary weapon and their secondary weapon. So, let's say you have like a, you have like an extended magazine and the illuminated iron sight at the same time. You know, that's a uh, that's your two that's your two attachment points for your primary weapon. But at the same time, you could have you could have the same thing for let's say you have a pistol you put on the the iron sights and the extended mag as well and you can have two attachments that way and then there's a perk that adds one more but I'll get to that in a different part so another site is the red dot site which is just a regular precision site it's one attachment point there's a thermal dot site which is basically the same thing except it's a thermal lens on your dot site and it's, a, has a, it's just a thermal lens with a black dot in the middle and that has two attachment points there's a holographic site which is just another precision site it's one attachment point, but it, it acts sort of like the red dot sight, but the the only difference is like when you're turning, like uh, in Modern Warfare 2 for example, when you're turning with a red dot sight, your gun sort of like bends a little bit, so you're not looking straight down the barrel, but if you have a holographic sight, your gun, you're always looking straight down the gun when you're turning. Now there's, and then there's the monocular scope, which is in Modern Warfare 3, where basically you can just flip this up and it will add magnification to help you shoot targets farther away with with you with a red dot or a holographic sight on. And that is one attachment point. Then there's the C79 optical sight. This is basically your ACOG. It's a telescopic sight that adds more range, but less accuracy to like assault rifles and stuff like that. Unless of course you put it on a sniper rifle and it's not gonna add range. Uh, it has a tritium illuminated reticle as well, so you can use it better in dark dark rooms where there's dimly lit. That's what that's that would be why they're dark, huh? Then there is a target. Wait, that okay? That optical sight is one attachment point. Then the target locator sight, which is basically it's the same exact thing as an ACOG scope, but when it but uh when you look at smoke, it turns into a thermal scope. Basically, it's a thermal ACOG when looking at smoke. That's basically all it is, and that is two attachment points. Then there is the thermal scope, which is just just your regular scope you can use on sniper rifles assault rifles but it's always thermal unless you like toggle it on and off but just like the sco a scope versus ACOG there's going to be minor differences in the zoom level and the versatility of it uh, the thermal scope is two attachment points then the there is the MNVS which is a monocular night vision scope you can use it to see better in darker areas it's one attachment point so basically it's like night vision on your gun you don't need. You won't need to use the goggles. Then there's the illuminated targeting scope, which is just has. It's the same as a regular scope, except it has an illuminated crosshair, and when you aim at an enemy, it glows red. That is one attachment point. Then there's the laser aim module, with a. It's an ANPEQ2 laser sight, which is base. It's basically just the laser sight that's part of the SOT mod kit that like on guns you'll see like in Call of Duty 4 on the uh, M4 that you use in the in the game in the beginning it's just that and it gives increased hip fire accuracy when shooting and it's two attachment points and the and the thing about this is it's located at, like at the uh, like on the front near the front of the barrel on the side or on the front of the gun near the side of the barrel and uh, you could use you can you can still combine this with dot sights, and you could you could you know you can combine it with any sights as long as you do use the uh, perk that lets you have more attachment points. Then there is uh, underbarrel attachments. There's the grenade launcher, which is you press D-pad left to toggle it on and off. You get one round and one round only. But you don't necessarily need a grenade. You can have anything from the regular grenade that explodes when you shoot it. You can launch a smoke grenade, a gas grenade, a decoy grenade, an incendiary grenade, a nail grenade, 
or even a buckshot round, because they there are 40 millimeter shells uh, of shotgun rounds, and it does not count towards building kill streaks when you use it. And this is two attachment points. Then there's the grappler, which is an undermounted grappling hook. You d pad, you press D-pad left to toggle it on and off, just like the other thing. And uh, basically, you can use this to climb up ledges that are too high to jump to, and it can prevent you from having to go a certain way, like in Summit. In Black Ops, there's a... I don't know which side, of the, which spawn side it is, in terms of uh, domination, but there's these sta there are these stairs that you can go up, and then there's this hallway with glass windows to your left, S and uh, or you can go around on the left on the catwalks and go up the boxes, and come up, and the glass will be right there as well. But if you didn't want to go up those boxes or up those stairs, you could just use the grappling hook and go up the side of the railing, assuming uh, well you are going to be defenseless while you're doing it. So yeah, it's a little risk reward type of thing going on. And uh, the grappler is one attachment point. Now there's the bayonet. You uh, press D-pad left to put it on the gun, and you can press it again to take it off the gun. But when it's on, you have increased melee range, but you move slower at the same time. That way people can't like run around with their, their rush class, whether they have marathon or lightweight or whatever, and just like stab you from 15 feet away, because that's, that's ridiculous. So it'll be like one of those last-ditch effort things, or maybe you run out of ammo, and so you got to do what you got to do. But even then, you could just switch to your knife. You don't really need the bayonet. And this is two attachment points. Then there's the corner shot. Uh, in real life, the corner shot is its own weapon. Basically, it's it's sort of like this gun body with a pistol at the end of it, where you can turn it and shit. But I, I figured that it would be better off to have it an undermounted pistol. Uh, to where you can actually, uh, you press D-pad left to toggle the pistol under barrel. To uh, aim left, straight, or right. And this way you can like shoot it sideways, not, not necessarily around corners, but you do have a camera on the side of your gun as well. And uh, you can shoot like that. Like let's say, I always think about the, the, Macon, the Macon map, or is it Machen? I don't know, Machen Atoll or something in, in, in World of War. And there's like this, there's this roundhouse and there are these little uh, openings where like there would be a window. So let's say if you know someone's going to be there. You just toggle it so it's aiming left or right, and then run by spring, and maybe you'll be lucky. Or maybe you can use that instead of switching to your secondary pistol, and then just spray that. And that that could be helpful too. And the the corner shot is one attachment point. Then there's the M26 mass, which is just an underbailed shotgun. So you press D-pad left to toggle on and off. It, it is a modular accessory shotgun system, and it has a five-round detachable magazine rather than the four shells that you have to place in. And you can either choose uh, buckshot, or buckshot rounds or slug rounds. Buckshot, of course, is your your normal spread rounds, and then slug is just your single bullet that has a longer range to it. And this is two attachment points. Then there is the tactical light. You can probably use this to blind people. I know in I know in uh, the the recent Battlefield trailer that I just watched, actually like uh, probably about 10 minutes ago, or actually probably 15 minutes ago. Like, I guess you could use this if you were close, it would blind people with the shot, or the flashlight, which is a cool in-game feature, I guess. But, that's not really why I put it here. I put it here because, uh, you could, you could just use it to see dark areas, because that's really what it's intended for. And this would be one attachment point. Now the grip, it adds, it, it gives you less recoil on light machine guns, shotguns, pistols, and SMGs. And it is two attachment points. That way people can't like combine this with the uh, the, the laser aim module right off the start. And it would make their uh, submachine guns very, very powerful. And it's pretty much a... a it's pretty much a... Uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? A trade-off, yeah. It's pretty much a trade-off with the attachments and the perks I have in mind. You pick one in, in, uh, in place of another. And that's what I call balance. So now there is the bipod, which allows you to mount light machine guns and sniper rifles to walls, window ledges, and stuff like that. For lower recoil and less idle sway, it works. You can you, you can also do that while you're prone, but you cannot combine it with a... Uh, you cannot combine any... No... no con God, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, you cannot combine any attachments that reduce uh, uh, reduce idle sway or recoil together. That's what I'm trying to say. 
that is two attachment points. Then there's the uh, I didn't really there's this I really this really didn't have a name for it, so I just I just call it the XXI missile launcher. Press D-pad left to use it. You get one round and it locks on the air support, but it is it's a very very weak explosive, so you can't use it on people. But the only actual real use to it is you know UAVs and counter UAVs. That's the only thing it's really going to be effective with. So you wouldn't have to necessarily, uh, you know, shoot down uh, or use something else to shoot them down or something. But, like I said, like a little bit ago, you have to give up something to have it. Now, magazine attachments. There is the speed reloader, which is faster reloads for re four revolvers, which is one attachment point. There is the jungle clip, which uh, basically is, you can either call it taped mags or dual mags. But jungle clip is, uh, I, I like this term better for it. And uh, basically, two magazines are just stuck together with a metal clip, making every other reload faster. It's one attachment point. Then there is triple mag, which has three magazines held together. And the first two reloads are faster, the third is normal, and then the cycle just repeats itself. And this is two attachment points. Then there's extended mag, which just gives you a bigger magazine. That's one more attachment point. Next is the 50-round uh, drum magazine that... Con that can be used to convert assault rifles into LMGs. Basically, it's not really useful on, on assault rifles at all because it slows down their mobility and it only adds five more bullets than the extended mag. So, but you can also use it on light machine guns. Like, let's say some of the light machine guns have a belt-fed magazine. They're, they're, they're slow as hell to reload, but let's say you cut their ammo in half and now you have a faster reload. You still have the same amount of ammo in total, but just less in the magazine. Then there's the 100 round belt magazine, like I said, would be default on some of them, but you can also use it on assault rifles, like, but, then again, it slows down the reload, slows down your movement speed for the extra ammo, and you can also use it on LMGs, like maybe if the LMG has a, dr a, r a round drum by default, but it has less ammo, so it's a trade-off type of thing. That is, oh, both the 50 round drum and the 100 round belt are two attachment points. Then the 200 round big belt magazine and uh, magazine can only be used on light machine guns, and it is two attachment points. This is basically big ammo from Black Ops, but you can only use it on light machine guns. Now for barrel attachments, you have the muzzle brake, which gives less recoil on sniper rifles, pistols, shotguns, light machine guns, and assault rifles. But like I said earlier, any recoil reduction attachments cannot be combined. And this is this is uh, two attachment points. Then the suppressor, you appear off the radar when firing. This is two attachment points. Sonic amplifier. Whenever you use shoot your gun, if you're standing next to glass, it will shatter the glass. If you're standing next to enemy dogs, it will disorient them. That way they're not going to attack you. But only if you're shooting and they're next to you. And it will temporarily disable nearby enemy placed equipment. But they really, really have to be close in order to work like in probably knifing distance or maybe just a little bit fur further than that and then there, the, there is okay the sonic amplifier is one attachment point and now the subsonic charger gives uh, less muzzle flash when you are firing and your shot your uh, your gunshots are quieter and this is one attachment point it's not going to make you appear off the radar but enemies are less likely to hear you like maybe they're not even paying attention to their radar so you shoot that blah 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 and this could even help if you have a silencer on your gun, and then you have the attach the the perk for more attachment points. And let's say you're in GB or something where people are going to be sound whoring because they're they're beast and legends. They'll probably hear your silenced gun if they're not giving a call out of where your position is by then. And then they're not even going to hear your silencer with this. And now I'm getting spammed on Steam. Thank you, Vernie, the stupid fucking Australian. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right. So, I don't know if I said it, but the subsonic charger is one attachment point. Then there is sawed off, which just, you can use it on certain shotguns and certain pistols. It will just give you less visible recoil. And it is one attachment point. And then there's onto, uh, I'm onto uh, stock attachments. There's the tracker, which it plays, you, which, uh, it's a GPS tracking device in your gun, and it will blink on the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, yes, the the tracker... God damn it, stop fucking sending me messages, people! Okay, 
So the tracker, you know, GPS in your gun, it'll blink on the map so you know where it is. Like someone kills you, they take it. You're going to know where they are unless they drop it. And that is one attachment point. Then there's the ammo pouch, which uh, basically just attaches a bag to the uh, stock of your gun, and it gives you one extra magazine on any gun, if it has a stock, of course. It's, it's pretty much anything other than a pistol, I would say. And that is one attachment point. Then there is the butt blade. It allows instant knife melee with a protracting blade from the butt of the gun, and it cannot be combined with the bayonet. Basically, when you do melee, it's just going to swing with the butt of the gun, but it will have the same damage as the regular knife. So, you better hit him in the stomach or above or whatever it is. And then, that, that is two attachment points. Now is the folding stock. It removes idle sway, but it cannot be used on sniper rifles. This is one attachment point. Now on to uh, miscellaneous attachments. I couldn't really think of a whole lot here. Because I, I, I rattled my brain for some, some cool things. But I just couldn't really think of a whole lot. But I got the uh, ammo counter. It just places a screen on your gun showing you the amount of rounds left in its magazine. One attachment point. It wouldn't really do any good for core, but for hardcore, I guess it, I could see some uh, implement, imp, implement, implement, if it, I don't even know, I don't even know, god damn it, whatever. But, uh, and also, same thing with the perks, I tried to infl implement some perks that would work for different, which I will get to them, but I tried thinking of perks that would be implemented in different ways for different playstyles, different game modes, and stuff like that. And so now the electronic recognition hand grip. Which, uh, basically, it's just something in your gun that makes it so enemies cannot fire your gun. But maybe there would be a delay, like if they pick it up, they can't shoot it right away or something. Like maybe there'd just be a small little timer or something. And then it's, this would be one attachment point. And, uh, that, that is, uh, all I have for attachments. If you like the video, please give positive feedback if you don't mind. And I'll see you guys next time.